welcome dear viewers to the video on topic q1 q2 and q3 for pharmaceuticals so you might have heard about the q1 q2 q3 you also might have heard regarding qualitative similarity quantitative similarity and physico chemical similarity of the generic formulation or API to the reference formulation or the reference product API. Also, you can relate the Q3 terminology to the reference API also. Sometimes the non infringing APIs are being developed for the actual or innovators api so it is not like that only the formulations are generic many of the times the apis are also synthesized in the non infringing way or in the way which is bypassing the patent or which is out of the patent scope so that time also the physico chemical similarity is checked. Now we will see Q1, Q2, Q3 one by one. Then we will see what is the importance of this Q1, Q2, Q3. So be with me till the end of this video so that you will have good information and idea about the topic. So Q1 means the qualitative similarity if you are working on to the generic formulation that time you should know these terminologies in detail if you have reference formulation and you are making a generic version for that reference formulation that time qualitative similarity means the ingredients in the reference formulation or raw materials in the reference formulation are similar in the generic formulation or generic formulation ingredients are same to those ingredients used by the reference formulation or innovators so it is qualitative similarity if that means identical ingredients are there in the generic formulation <coughs> similar quality of the raw materials the quality of the raw materials is nearly similar then these materials have the same chemistry same qualitative composition is there between the reference and generic then generally it is understood or it is studied and then it is confirmed that whether the generic formulation is having the materials with same nature grade and characteristics so this is the q1 q1 means qualitative similarity now coming to the q2 q2 is quantitative similarity so it is the next step to the q1 in the q1 you have same quality now q2 means same quantity so q1 is quality q2 is quantity quantitative similarity is called as q2 and if there is same quantity used by the generic formulation compared to the reference formulation same quantity of excipients in the generic formulation in comparison to the reference formulation that is the quantity of the generic formulation ingredients is within 5% compared to the quantity of raw materials or excipient used in the reference product and the limit is within 5% variation or within the range of 5% so if innovator is using 100 mg of the excipient 
for example starch and if generic product is using starch in the range of 95 mg to 105 mg then you can say the generic product is qualitatively similar as well as the quantitatively similar then come to the q3 so many of the professionals don't know about the q3 q3 means same or similarity in the physical and chemical properties so mainly q3 is related to the property of the api also property of the functioning or functional excipients q3 means similar description or appearance or uh, then ph particle size flow behavior rheological behavior then drug polymorphism that is solid state form if the drug form used by the innovator is similar to the form of the drug used by generic product then you can say it it's matching in the q3 as well so form of the api or polymorphism of the api then particle size of the api if it is similar then it is understood that it is matching the q3 also then drug release also considered in the q3 so q3 is similarity in the physical properties like physical binding to the substrate so q3 is mainly the similarity in the physico chemical properties so this is the information for q1 q2 q3 q1 q2 q3 can be made available by reverse engineering of the inverter formulation along with the generic formulation then study of the reference formulation for polymorphism for particle size and for the in vitro studies after this in vitro studies and after completing the reverse engineering or physical characterization chemical characterization of the reference product along with the generic product you can have the data for the q1 q2 q3 q1 q2 q3 data is required for having the demonstration for bioequivalence for getting the biowaver and also it is required for having the good stability having the manufacturing process easiness and if you have correct information regarding q1 q2 q3 then it is easy to have the stable and bioequivalence bioequivalent formulation so this is regarding the q1 q2 q3 i hope i have uh, covered the topic and you might have got good understanding for the q1 q2 q3 thank you for watching the video and please do like share and subscribe to pharma learning in depth channel thank you